Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to talk about the compound interest calculator I just created. Really cool calculator that you can create in the Google Sheets platform. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into it here. So just quickly jumping over to some research that I just quickly did. Um, looking at, you know, a lot of people use the stock market to grow their wealth over time. And arguably it could be one of the greatest places that you can do, uh, you know, to passively grow your wealth. Um, looking at the S&P 500, one of the greatest investments out there, historically speaking, uh, for the amount of time that, you know, is required to invest into it. Um, just looking back over the past 30 years, um, it's averaged 9.89%, um, sitting at 7.31% adjusted for inflation, obviously not accounting for this past year because inflation has been outrageous. But according to the typical, I think it's like two point, you know, two plus percent. I, I don't know the exact details. Uh, going back a little bit further, this one says 10%. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and look back at the spreadsheet. So this as let's do nine, what was it? 9.89, 9.89. We'll do that. And then we'll do one after inflation adjusted. Um, so the only columns or cells that you update are these three right here. It's what you're going to annually contribute or annually invest, what your expected average return is going to be. Obviously, it's not going to be a straight line like it is in this diagram. It's going to go up and down. You know, just look at the S&P 500 last year. It was down 18%. Uh, so it's not going to be, you know, consistently as you can see it here. Uh, but over time, you know, the goal, the hope is that it, it grows exponentially. Uh, this column is going to be your income column. Now, you know, 4% is the typical withdrawal rule. I mean, I think that's a little bit conservative. Um, and, you know, for me, since I have such a long time, time horizon, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm going to be able to yield more than 4% of my portfolio. Uh, so then essentially I'll never have to sell, uh, sell shares, um, and, and my plan is to, you know, just, you know, receive the yield off of the portfolio, you know, four or 5% and then just not reinvest, but still, uh, let the portfolio grow. Um, but yeah, so that's that, um, this illustration is expect, uh, is illustrating if you were to invest $5,000 a month and you got a 9.89% return on your money and you were able to pull 4% off of that. So after 10 years, you're gonna be looking at $87,000 of you know, portfolio value and a 3,484 income potential at 4%. So not a huge amount of income off of that. But as time goes on, you know, another 10 years, you're sitting at 310, a portfolio income of 4% or 12,000 is, is 12,431. 30 years, you're looking at 885, 35,000. And then 40 years, 2.3 million and $94,000. So as you can see here, as time goes on, you, um, your money is growing faster and faster each year. Looking, sliding over here to the chart. Uh, yeah, just like what I was talking about at first, you know, those first 20 years, you're not, it's not growing as much, but those later years is when it really just starts to exponentially grow like crazy. And that's why they say compound interest is such a powerful thing if you provide it you know, enough time to grow and to really, you know, um, just fulfill its exponential path there. Now, obviously at 60, 60 years, you're sitting at 15 million, you know, 60 years is a really long time. So obviously if you start this, start this for your children, you know, 60 years could typically be their whole life. Um, but but yeah, yeah, that's, that's that there. Um, but yeah, I think that's, you know, the cool thing about this calculator, you can quickly like, 
you know, adjust it for your situation. And, uh, and yeah, just quickly, oh yeah, I wanted to do illustration of at 7.31%. Because this is the inflation adjusted. So let's just look at it. You know, our end goals, our end amount is 4.986 million at 7.31. And what was this before? 9.89. Just look at the difference in... 9.89 versus 7.31. It went from 4.89 million to 15 million. Insane. So just the difference of, you know, what is it? What is a uh, 2.5%? Just the difference of 2.5%. Um, it's, it's astronomical. It's crazy. Um, it was like four times the amount almost. It's actually probably like three times. It was like 4.9 and went to 15. So, um, yeah. So, thanks inflation. You're going to eat away at our, uh, our savings. So, that's why, you know, even more, I come back to the fact that growing your money is very important um, over the long term, you know, just to be able to stay keep up with inflation, you know, like a million dollars today is not going to be nearly, you know, the same amount of money. Uh, it's not going to be worth the same amount of money in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So being able to multiply and grow your money more than, you know, the bank is paying what, like half of a percent. I mean, right now I think you can get some that are like 3%. So it's, it's, it's pretty good, you know, zero risk up to like a certain amount, you know, obviously disclaimer, understand your risk when investing with banks. I think up to a certain amount, they're FDIC insured, but that's going to vary. So I don't want to say there's no risk because there definitely could be, um, but associated to the stock market, you know, invest, a savings account, hypothetically speaking, should be a lot safer than, you know, buying Tesla because Tesla's not doing doing too well um, over the past couple of weeks and months, but just an example. Uh, Tesla long term, I think it will do well. Short term, it's definitely been getting definitely been getting beat up a little bit. But but yeah, I think I'm just rambling on at this point. So if you're still here, appreciate it. Check out the calculator. I'm gonna provide it down below in the uh, description box. Uh, please like and subscribe if you got any value from this video. We really appreciate it. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video this far. We really appreciate it. And we're really excited for you know this upcoming year and the new content that we can come out with and provide uh, for all our, all our viewers out there. So once again, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a great evening.